Hello there, everyone. Uh, welcome to this quick uh, video on equations of tangents and normals to curves. Um, so in this video, uh, we're going to have a look at finding the equation of a tangent. So I've drawn here a tangent. The key thing, of course, is for a tangent line to a curve is that it meets the curve at exactly one point, uh, the point x, y. And let's say uh, I wanted to find the equation of this line here, um, then I would need the gradient, uh, and let's just call it mt for the gradient of the tangent, and I would need the given point x, y. Or I could just be given the x coordinate, and I could be given the equation of the curve, let's call this curve f of x, um, some function of x. If I'm just given x, I'll have to sub that in. I have to sub in my x value into f of x in order to find the y value. So that's what I will need to find the equation. Uh, I need the gradient of the tangent and a point, and then I am going to use this formula, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, or perhaps you just prefer using y equals mx plus c and then rearranging it, that is fine as well. When we look at the second diagram, which shows uh, the this is the tangent, the dotted line is the tangent, and then I have a line which is perpendicular crossing the curve f of x, this curve, at that point x, y, and that is uh, when we are asked to find the, uh, the equation of the normal uh, to a curve. In this case, uh, I would have to find the gradient of the tangent first, and then I just take the negative reciprocal to the gradient of the tangent, which will give me the gradient of the normal. So I use a little n to denote the gradient of the normal. I then use the same formula here with this given point. Uh, to sub it in and to work it out. So in this particular um, section, we're going to have to differentiate my function in order to find the gradient function. So I'll be given f of x, which I then need to differentiate to find um, the gradient function, plug in my x value, and then I can work out the gradient of the tangent or the normal as required. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at two examples. The first example, reads, uh, find the equation of the tangent to the curve f of x equals to x times e to the 2x at the point where x is equal to a half. So you can see that this is a, a question probably for, um, I'm making this for IGCSE, further maths, uh, but it will also come up in P3 module where you've done the product rule. Um, so I'm going to add in one other thing. I would like you to write the equation in the form y equals mx plus c in the end. So let's get started. First, I read the question again. I want to find the tangent to this curve, f of x equals x e to the 2x, where x is equal to a half. And I make my note. I, note, I know that I need the gradient of the tangent and I need the point x, y. So I have x. doesn't matter which order you do this in. Maybe you prefer to find x, y first. So let's do that. If x is equal to a half, well, then I know in order to find y, because f of x is just the same as y equals x e to the 2x. So in order to find my y value, I need to sub in a half into f of x, which is going to give me um, a half times e to the 2 times a half. 2 times a half, of course, is 1. So I end up with a half e. So my x, y becomes the point or is the point 1 half and a half e. Great. So we're going to use that in a minute. Um, the, first thing I, the second thing I need to do is I need to find the gradient of the tangent. So that means I will have to differentiate. So if I'm given that f of x equals x e to the 2x, then I notice here that I have got the product of two functions. All right, so x is being multiplied by e to the 2x. So this will require the use of the product rule. And um, 
I prefer that to write that as v u dash plus u v dash. Um, and so I'm going to use that format here. So u is going to be x, v is e to the 2x. I'm going to work out u dash, which is 1, and then v dash, which is 2 e to the 2x. Um, and then I know that f dash x equals v u dash plus u v dash, which means I'm cross multiplying v e to the 2x by 1. So e to the 2x times 1 plus u times v dash, which is x times 2 e to the 2x. And then I can simplify that and I'll get e to the 2x plus 2x e to the 2x. So that's my gradient function, but of course I want the gradient of the tangent at the particular x point. So I'm just going to sub in x, which I'm given is equal to a half. So the gradient function at the x value of a half is going to be e to the power of 2 times a half plus 2 times by a half times by e to the power of 2 times a half. Simplify that carefully. I'm not going to use my calculator. I want to have this as an exact value, so in terms of e. Uh, 2 times a half is 1, so I'm left with e, plus e to the power of 1, which is 2e. Okay, so that works out nicely. I have the point 1 half and a half e and the gradient of the tangent is equal to 2e. And so now I'm ready to use my formula, either y equals mx plus c, or y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, as we said there. Okay, so my preference normally is this, y minus y1, which is a half e, equals m 2e times x minus x1. So I'm going to multiply out those brackets. 2e times negative a half is just negative e. And then I want to write it in the form y equals mx plus c. I'm going to rearrange that. 2ex minus e plus a half e leaves me with 2ex minus a half e. So I can see here that my gradient is 2e, and that is c, my y-intercept. And there we go. That is example one, finding the equation of the tangent to a curve. Okay, on to the next example. Given that f of x is equal to x squared plus 3 minus 4 divided by x minus 2, find the equation of the normal, go and highlight that, to the curve at the point where x is equal to 3. So in this case, we want the equation of the normal, which is the negative reciprocal of, sorry, not the equation of the normal. Oh, yes, we do want the equation of the normal, um, which is the negative reciprocal of the, right, I'm making a right mess of this. Um, I want the gradient of the normal, which is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. That makes more sense, sorry. Uh, and I want my xy coordinate. So let's just start with xy. Uh, <clears throat> if x is equal to 3, then I know that y is going to equal 3 squared plus 3 minus 4 all divided by 3 minus 2. Therefore, y is 9 plus 3 minus 4 over 1, and that simplifies to 8. 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 subtract 4 is 8. So the point I'm working with here is 3, 8. All right, the second thing I need is the gradient of the normal. So I'm first going to find the gradient of the tangent, so f prime x or f dash x. But what I notice here is that I will have to rewrite this fraction, rewrite it. Before, 
I can differentiate because x is in the denominator. So I'm going to write f of x first. Let me rub that out. f of x is equal to x squared plus 3 subtract 4. And all I'm going to do is I'm bringing this x minus 2 out from the denominator. And so it's going to be x minus 2 all raised to the power of negative 1. OK, now I'm ready to differentiate. So I get 2x, 3 becomes 0. Now when I differentiate this, I must remember that it's the power multiplied by negative 4, which becomes plus 4. And then I need to decrease the power by 1, so it becomes negative 2. And I have this bracket inside. And I must always look out for the bracket, which is an embedded function, which implies we need to use the chain rule. right? So I really need to go and multiply by the derivative of x minus 2. But it just so happens that the derivative of x minus 2 is 1. And so therefore, there's nothing left for me to do. OK, so my final answer here for the gradient function is 2x plus 4. And if you want to, you can write that as x minus 2 all squared again. OK, so I'm going to find the gradient of the tangent, uh, which means I need to sub in x equal to 3. So it's 2 times 3 plus 4 over 3 minus 2 all squared. 3 minus 2 is 1, and 1, 1 squared is 1. So this just becomes 6 plus 4 over 1, which is 10. Now remember that's the gradient of the tangent. We want the normal. So the gradient of the normal is negative 1 over 10. And now that I have that, I use that information alongside the xy coordinate. Uh, and I want to, I should have added this, I want you to write this in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So in standard form. They call that the standard form of a straight line equation. So we're going to the other bit of information. I like to write everything uh, next to each other. So I'll get y minus y1. And that's x1, which is 8. Uh, equals negative 1 over 10 times x minus 3. Now, you can either expand your brackets or you can um, choose to get rid of this fraction first. Just be very careful um, if you do that. So you go and multiply throughout by 10. That means you'll get 10y subtract 80. And you'll still have this negative here. So it becomes negative x minus 3. And so 10y minus 80 equals negative x plus 3 when I expand the brackets. And I need to move everything to one side so that I get 0 on the right-hand side. So that will become 10y plus x minus 83. Or if you rearrange that in a different form, you might have got uh, negative x subtract 10y plus 83 equals 0, which is also fine. Um, OK, I hope that was useful um, in order to see how to find the equations of tangents and normals. Not very difficult. Uh, you just need to make sure you find all of the uh, key bits of information that you need before you actually sub it in to the equation to find uh, of the, the, the general form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 or y equals mx plus c.